हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल बी सीइंग व्हाट इज को चैनल इंटरफेरेंस सीसीआई व्हिच इज अ मेजर टाइप ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस इन इन वायरलेस सिस्टम्स इन मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन सो ऑलवेज व्हेन वी टॉक वी फेस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस व्हिच इज कॉज्ड ड्यू टू अ कॉल इन प्रोग्रेस बाय द नेबरिंग सेल और क्रॉस टॉक्स बाय डिफरेंट मोबाइल यूजर्स और ड्यू टू अ बेस स्टेशन ऑपरेटिंग एट सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी लेवल एंड आल्सो द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस टू दिस आर वेरी एडवर्स व्हिच मे रिजल्ट इन टू कॉल स्टेटस बीइंग ब्लॉक्ड or uh, due to the system capacity being low and majorly the signal quality just gets degraded so uh, in this video let's see what is co channel interference and how it relates so uh, this type of uh, interference occurs mainly among cells so uh, we know that each cell contains n number of channels and n number of frequencies so it's like you can consider this as uh, channel 1 and this as channel 2 so the interference or the signal interception causing between these two channels are called as co channel interference within this cell so it happens every time inside this cell only and not outside so uh, what you can possibly do is uh, you can divide the cells in a definite distance so it's like uh, you have one cell operating within this range and then you have other cells kept at a definite distance which is represented by d plus r d minus r we'll see what is there in detail so uh, majorly cci depends upon three main factors so the very first one is the distance between two centers of the neighboring uh, cells so it's like uh, you can see d plus r and d minus r so uh, various cells are just distributed in a specific way by calculating some mathematical uh, equations and then you have the radius of each cell so radius is just this point or the distance between these two centers so that is the radius between these two cells and next is the power of the base station from where it is being uh, received or from where it gets received this power and it does not depends upon the power which is being transmitted outside and so uh, a setup where you have the radio frequencies just allocated which is represented by rf radio frequency uh, will avoid any co channel interference in the future so uh, to represent this we have an uh, factor called as the co channel reuse factor represented by q and it's so given by the equation d upon r where it is a distance between two centers of the nearest cell and r is the radius of each of the cell and which is being uh, summarized to under root 3 n and so you have some set of values for n for which you can get a considerable value for q and so these are some standardized values of this n n is the cluster size of each of the cell uh, where uh, here you can see n is equal to 7 so since you have seven clusters so uh, for value of 3 uh, n uh, you will just uh, multiply 3 into 3 9 you get the value of q that is square root of 9 is 3 Uh, for value of n you get 12 into 3 that is 36 square root of 36 is 6 and then you have n value of 13 so 13 into 3 39 so square root of that is 6.24 so these are some standardized values which you get for co channel uh, interference and uh, for example say uh, for a specific wireless coverage area the signal to interference ratio uh, which you can get is represented by s divided by i which is equal to under root 3 and the whole raise to n that is small and divided by io which is uh, given as d by n where you substitute this uh, and to the base you have this cluster size n and io is there and the whole raise to n so here uh, you have s as the signal i as the interference which is caused due to some other signals and uh, then you have the n that is the cluster size and then you have two terms that is io and n so io is nothing but the number of interfering co channels or the channels uh, how much number it's there or whether it's 3 or 4 or any higher number so that count is basically this io and n is something called as the path loss exponent so whenever in signal transmission in this kind of setup or in this kind of a uh, structure what happens is when you transmit some signal from one base station to another base station it may take a considerable amount of time as well as a considerable amount of range is there so in that particular range the amount of power which you have uh, originally might not get transmitted at the other end due to some other interferences or due to attenuation or due to jamming so uh, you can just uh, give it to a exponent so that is nothing but the path loss exponent which we have considered in this equation and so we have some setup of the cci uh, in this way so in this you have seven different cells and so we have the cluster size n is equal to 7 and so uh, we have one cell located exactly at the center and we have some 
uh, adjacent cells as a considerable uh, distance. So uh, the distance between this cell from this cell is d plus r. Similarly, all the upper cells which are there uh, just far away are represented by d plus r and which are close to this are d minus r and this is just d. So uh, in this you can see y. So y is nothing but a mobile subscriber. Uh, who makes a call from the cell boundary and he will get interfered from the neighboring signals caused due to the co-channel interference. And so uh, in this case, uh, let's say a path loss happens and it's represented uh, by a value of n is equal to 4. Then what you can have is the signal to interference ratio in the worst case is given by substituting uh, this value here you get r raised to minus 4 divided by 2 into d minus r raised to minus 4 plus 2 into d plus r raised to minus 4 plus 2 d raised to minus 4. So this is the worst case signal to interference ratio if you get a path loss exponent as n is equal to 4 and if it uh, goes beyond that so uh, then your co-channel interference will just go worse and it will destroy your entire cell or entire network. And so how you can avoid this or a way to uh, solution is by proper planning and implementation of the frequency reuse technique which we saw in that honeycomb structure. Only that will avoid this co-channel interference and it will improve the overall system capacity. So well that was all regarding the co-channel interference. CCI in wireless communication. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found got educated watching this video, please do like, share, comment, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.